Hello and welcome everyone. Sorry for the delay. Um, work's been alright. It's been busy. Very busy. Sorry. Um, it's my supervisor texting me. She's like, y'all need to make sure you go in and unclog the tub in this unit tomorrow so the cleaners can do their job. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, come on, load. It's been a hot minute since I've been in, been in this game. <laughs> Um, yeah, sorry, that was my supervisor texting me. She said that the cleaners said the tub was clogged and we needed to unclog it so we could do our, so the cleaners can do their job. It's like, well, if the tub's clogged, it's clogged because the flooring guys dumped all of their grout mix in the bathtub. So, yeah, because that definitely happened. building. It's a factory uh, building game. Oof. I'm getting a lot of chop. It's been a hot minute since I've played this, so I'm sure a lot of it has to load. <laughs> Once I get everything loaded again, should be good. Thank you, my love. Yeah, so I don't know what my next game is going to be. Um, I was thinking about playing something like Satisfactory here, or going on and doing... Um, or, uh, like, going and like trying out Dyson Sphere program on the stream. Or even... Um, going on and do an arc just playing on the island you know the just the base the first area you can play on because I know that one the most now uh, I know the most about that area of the or that area I can do guides and stuff on it I can do a lot more with it if I do that <laughs> your boat is for arc then I take it Do I have anything built up here? No, I was planning on something. So I built this huge factory space up here. Okay, I know what that is. That's where I load all the stuff up for constructing some stuff that goes into the 
Okay, well, um, I didn't want to play something that I needed to put a ton of time and effort into today. Um, so I figured I'd just fiddle around with something, try a different type of game, and because uh, it's gonna take me some time to get the arc. Like I have to actually rent a server on Arc. Um, Tabitha's interested in playing it some too. Um, you know, we'll dig around and see what we can do. I can do. I'm gonna adjust some settings and try to take, uh, put some of the edge back into it. What do I have? Okay, I got. Forgot about you. A medical inhaler. What the hell? Chainsaw. Mazino Basher. Well, I want to do that, but it's going to be like... I want to wait until they put out the next update. Is really kind of what I want to do. Um, just because I want to wait. I want to play it for more than just sit down, blast through it, and that's it. You know, that's really kind of why I'm holding off on it. So I'll elaborate about this game here in just a minute. Oh, but it's my flashlight. Is it B? That's a weird flashlight button. That's the scanner. I've got to relearn how to play. And they're going to change a lot. They're about to update this game again. Do a big update for it. Oh, that was that's when they added the gun. Okay, that's fine. No worries. That, oh, I haven't researched the radar tower yet. I should have the map. I've got all this stuff except for power pole mark three, programmable splitter. I've, I just need to do more hard drives then so I can get alternate recipes. Yeah, so they've added a bunch of stuff since the last time I played. I'm looking at trying to get I hadn't gotten nuclear power Leading edge production. What is this? What is all this? Complete phase four. Oh! Oh, phase four in the... I gotcha. <laughs> it's always fun. So, up here in the top right, I've got Objective Complete Phase 4. Phase 4, I have to craft 4,000 Assembly Director Systems. 4,000 Magnetic Field Generators. 1,000 uh, Thermal Propulsion Rockets. And 1,000 Nuclear Pastas. And then that will unlock um, the final phase of Early Access Employee of the Planet. And I will get a small reward in the Awesome Shop. It's funny because you're the only employee on the planet. So my objective today is to do something a little different. Uh, I'm going to go through my existing factory and sort of show it off. And show you all the stuff we've got set up and how all this works. There, There is, yeah, it's a lot of stuff I have to make. Um, but I've got a lot happening here. And I haven't even made it to, like, I had my previous save file. I had nuclear power plants and all kinds of stuff. I just hadn't made it there yet. I was trying to check out some of the other stuff. They released an update, and I was looking into the rest of that. So the way a lot of stuff has changed in this game. It used to be... 
Um, everything was done with conveyor belts or um, vehicles. So I've got the Explorer here, which is a newer vehicle. Uh, but if I can check my map, how do I check the map? That's how I do it. Um, I've got here train stations. And I've got docking stations. Um, I've got at the docking stations are trucks. Um, actually, I think that one may be. Why is there a docking station there? That doesn't make any sense. How the hell did that happen? So, here, on the map, I haven't been very far outside of the general area here. Um, sort of explored a few things. But I've got some train stations. I've got the Quartz Creek Mine. I've got uh, Boxy Brown Town, where I mine bauxite. And I've got Ila Nublar, which is, of course, the Jurassic Park Island. Uh, because, of course it is. And I've got my train, Union Pacific, that delivers, that collects quartz and bauxite and brings them here to this manufacturing station. I was planning on, uh, I think, running a train up here to a... Uh, like running a station up here and uh, getting a bunch of uh, materials set up and running. I don't know. It's been like a year since I've played this game. <laughs> it's been a while. Give me one moment. What was I trying to make? Motors. Heavy, heavy frames, heavy industrial frames, computers, and all clad aluminum sheets. Ooh. Oh, cool. This is, so, okay, so they've added some stuff to the awesome shop. So this, there's a lot I'm going to explain. There's a lot happening here, so you just have to bear with me. I'm going to jump around a bit. Once I get started on explaining the way my factory is set up and all that's working, it should stabilize a little bit, but I'm going to jump around a little bit up until then. So, um, you start with certain things unlocked. Um, as you go through, you can unlock more things. Uh, one of the ways you can do that is in the awesome shop with Fixit coupons. Fixit is the company that you work for. So you can... Under organization, you can buy these lights, um, display sign, these display signs, and these skins for boxes. So that way, if you want to keep your medical stuff in a box, you can skin it to look like that. Or a uh, hazardous box, you can do that. That's new. That wasn't there before. Uh, walls. I've got. A, oh, that's right. They added a bunch of different cosmetic stuff. I remember, in update five. Now you can put a hole in the floor for your conveyor belt, your hyper tube, or your pipes to travel through. New foundations. Not really many new foundations. Fix it specials. The cyber wagon. I have the factory card too. Got some statues. This new modern catwalks. Ooh! I like that in factory letter. I, I, unlocked that recently. Road barriers, different types of pillars and structural beams. Uh, this is all stuff that you can use. Um, gas filters, beacons, health packs, explosives. Uh, these are just parts that you can buy. You can s flat out buy. Customizer. Foundation patterns. Factory icon patterns. Ooh. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's all new. That's not stuff that was there before. I'm going to have to buy some of that stuff. So you get coupons by using the awesome sink 
And what you do here is you take materials that you're not using. So the way this is set up, it's a whole thing. I'll run down here and show you. The way this is set up, I've got my miners here. They mine iron ore. It sends the iron ore along all these splitters to distribute the ore as evenly as possible to the smelters. They turn the iron ore into iron ingots. They then merge onto one conveyor belt. This is to help balance the load. Um, they split again to met to these constructors, and the constructors all produce different things. Uh, this one makes these make screws. This one makes metal rods. This one makes plates. Uh, and all these dump into storage containers. So that way, if for some reason um, my miners fall behind, I've just got excess. And that way, if I'm like, oh, I need more plates, I can just run over here and grab them. I don't have to craft them at all. They're just there. So then um, the uh, constructors can take a, a, the ingots and turn them into a simple item, like iron plates. The assemblers take two simple items and can put them, make them into a more complex item, like these uh, reinforced iron plates. Or it can take these metal rods and screws and combine them into rotors. You can then take the rotors and combine them with the reinforced iron plate to make smart plating which is an item that you need for the um, space elevator. So what happens is, all of this gets dumped into storage. Because of my smart splitter here, uh, I have it configured that all of these go into this area. It all flows into the splitter here and comes out right here. But once this is full, all of the overflow gets dumped over here and goes to the awesome sink. The awesome sink grinds it up and turns it into coupons. So I have six coupons that I can print. And then I can take the coupons over to the shop and I can buy stuff with them. Um, give me give me one second, I'll be right back. It is super couponing. Okay. So. Um, I've dismantled all of them. I thought I had some over here I could show you. Early on, uh, everything that you're going to mine, you're going to do it by hand. You craft it all by hand. Okay, here's some. There's these biomass burners here. You take biofuel. You dump them in there. Or just straight up leaves grass, wood, and it grinds that up into power. So it grinds it up, burns it, turns it into power. Um, so all of your power generation early game is going to be from these burners. I've got them turned off right now. They're not man they're not pulling in any power. Um, I've got here, this is the orange is my consumption. I'm consuming 2,000 megawatt hours. Or 2,000 megawatts. Um, my, my capacity is fluctuating a little bit. 
It's going to fluctuate between double that a little more so. Uh, and I have, um, if everything, max consumption, if everything I have is running at once, it's going to be that blue bar. <laughs> That's the absolute maximum. So I wanted to make sure that my power consumption or my power production was more than that consumption amount. So I've got 100% power here. I have a thousand megawatt hours, which means I have a thousand megawatts that will run for an hour. I'm fully charged. That's a fairly new. Well, it's not fairly new for as long as I've been playing it. It's fairly new. Um, they added in pipes into the game. This is a hyper tube. It allows you to fling yourself from point A to point B. You don't have to use a car. Uh, this little device here I just have set up to turn either to turn biomass so I can take leaves and wood and convert that into biomass. I dump it in here uh, and it feeds into this constructor and that turns it into uh, bio solid biofuel, which then goes over here, so I've just got solid biofuel ready to go. What's up, Jay? Uh, this is Satisfactory. This is my factory that I've had for a while. Um, I was discussing what I was going to do next in the stream, because currently I don't really have a goal, like a, a game that I'm playing. Uh, and right now the vote is to do Ark, just play on the island. Uh, because then I can I can do like what are they? I can do guides and stuff for for that. And make small simple videos. <laughs> oh, that's right. You you did know she changed her name. So, um, they changed the way power generation works. Uh, when they added pipes, like right here, I've got these pipes here. Um, these devices. They're water pumps. They pump water out of this pond. Um, and it flows through these pipes. I've got it going to these buffers. So there's just water hanging out in them. And it gets pumped out of the buffer into the coal generators. So all the coal generators just run. Much like real life, you've got to have water and coal. You burn the coal, it generates heat, you use the heat to turn the water into steam, and you use the steam to turn a turbine. Simple. <laughs> but behind this, I have my power storage. I've got them all set up here. Um, so I've got emergency power, I can adjust that. I've got switches so I can turn off whole chunks of my factory. If I need to, I can shut anything down. Um, I just have to go to a specific area. Um, I would like to have like a big control tower for the whole factory setup, but unfortunately I don't have that at the moment. So this is my smart plating construction zone. <laughs> this is my first factory, so I can configure the switch. I can throw the switch and now I've killed power to literally this entire chunk of my factory I got it all back online well, I can't start this over I hadn't I didn't build all this I just have to start the video over <laughs> And over here, I have... There's more iron up here. I just haven't done anything with it. I think that's what I was going to do. I was going to build uh, miners and, and build put some kind of production up there. Maybe for heavy industrial frames. Not 100% sure. I don't remember. It's been a minute. Uh, over here, I have... Is this Caterium production? Yeah, this is Caterium. So this is a special ore that they added in. Um... All of this gets used to make like high strength wire. I need to. I thought I removed all these plants here. Ruins the aesthetic. Uh, and I used that to make. What's over here? I have forgotten. Ah, AI limiters. Forgot about those. And down here is just. I've got my caterium processing area, copper processing. So it turns all the copper down here into like. 
No, you can't hack in and do industrial sabotage. It's not like that. <laughs> I applaud you for your, uh, your thought process there, though. Most of this isn't running because it's all full. Um, thankfully, Satisfactory is one of those games where if you're not terribly good at uh, getting your production just maxed out, uh, you can let it run for four hours. Uh, go have a drink, make yourself something to eat, come back, and then you've got a lot more supplies built up. <laughs> uh, you don't, uh, none of the veins run out of ore. So I got my little explorer here. Let's see. I need to heal up. my hyper tube. So sort of fling me over to my uh, more complex factory. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying it's not easy to break. Um, anything that big <laughs> has a lot of delicate parts that have to be dealt with in some way, shape, or form. I hadn't been to this factory, this side of the factory in a while, so it's a uh, it's running a bit slow. All that over there is just a bunch of fart gas. It hurts you. There's some fluffy hogs. What's up, dude? It's a land whale? I don't remember what it's called. I think it's just called confusing creature, really. Yeah, it does. It <laughs> definitely reminds me of that. So this is... Um, a bigger processing area. This takes copper ore and runs it in a not as a not very straightforward way uh, into turning it into copper wire, which gets sent all over the place. Copper wire uh, even like comes over here to be turned into cable, used in a bunch of different ways. That's just a lot happening here. <laughs> to look at all this so I can remember what it is. That's right, it was making modular frames. Because I needed a bunch of modular frames for stuff. Modular frames get sent over here. They get, they get mixed with this steel beam. My steel, produc my steel production is over here too. Um, and that gets turned into this versatile framework. The excess versatile framework gets sent up through here. I'll show you where that goes. Uh, and what is that? Automated wiring. I also make automated wiring here. Cable and rotors. Uh, that gets sent through to these boxes. And then the excess gets sent here. Which is, hence the splitter. So they get combined here. They both go down this conveyor belt. Which conveniently goes to another grinder. Yes, it does kind of look like a slug until, uh, until because it, the wet just where it was. Yeah, but all of this is iron and copper used to build basically those two things. Just to make What was it? Versatile framework and smart wire. That's what all this is for. Uh, this, however, is used to make steel. This is my steel production area. I've got coal and iron, right, coming in here. They get blasted out. They get sent through, turned into uh, steel beams and steel pipe, which are very important items. So I've got steel beams in here. Oops. What was that? awesome shop and up here steel pipe so you use the pipe and the just a bunch of different stuff use my zipline tool
Come on. Yeah, that's right. I'm out of practice. This I've got coal and is that iron? Coal and iron get sent up here. Uh, don't mind all this <laughs> madness here. Um, the coal gets combined with something to make compacted coal. Is it compacted coal? And iron to make more steel. I use the steel up here to make. I made more steel beams. That's right, because I needed a bunch more, because I was using them to make encased industrial beams. Um, so this is all concrete here. And this whole thing down here, get ready for this. Oh, you can't, you can barely see it. I think at one point that creature was called a land whale. Oh, yeah, that's right, encased beam production. Ow. There's a cave or something around here. You can hear it real faint. It's like little mouse, little, little cat noise, like mew, 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 mew. At one point, I turned on arachnophobia mode. Um, and when you do that, it takes the images of the, like, weird spider monsters and turns them into, uh, cat sprites. I had a much bigger concrete production down here. This, that was a different save I'm thinking of. Jay, what do you know whying? <laughs> I missed when you said that. <laughs> so I don't know what you were talking about, or what I was talking about when you threw that out there. Oh, arachnophobia mode. Yeah, it's almost worse. I turned it on because I wanted to see, like, how crazy looking it was. Um, and it's, it's real crazy looking. <laughs> I'll have to drive around and find a cave that has some of them. Some of the stingers, I think is what they're called. The spider monsters. I need to go back over here. I'm just running around. I need to go back to get to the hyper tube. <laughs> You're going to hear it again because I'm going to find more in a little while. What can I even make? Architecture. Okay, yeah, I bought all that. Oh, trains have collision now. But I only have the one train, and it backtracks on itself, so I don't have to worry about signals. Because trains have collision, you will blast your trains into each other, and they will crash and explode. I don't know if they'll actually explode, but they will crash. <laughs> there we go, that's all I wanted. Let's just get my Xeno Basher out. Start out with like a little like taser that goes zap. Um, but then you can upgrade it into this like bat electrical bat. Oh, and that weird thing jutting out of the tube. Uh, this game is in very it is still early access, so it's not perfected by any means. Uh, those are my Blade Runners, and yes, that is the name of the item. Uh, you can see it there in the bottom left of the screen, uh, above the Xeno Basher. They let me jump and uh, run faster, and I can fall further and take less damage. Huzzah, Jay! Well, good luck with the pizza. This game does some interesting stuff. 
where it says, you see it says open record menu, or open record menu is actually what it says. Load path, show or hide path, change camera. You can actually record a pathway, and trucks, uh, explorers, or tractors uh, will follow the path that you set. So, like, I'll show you. So you see these arrows that shows you where the vehicle is going to go. It's primitive. It doesn't do what exactly what you want it to do. But that's what it does. And you can just set it to autopilot and it'll follow you. and uh, Or follow the path and that's what it'll do. I built some coal plants down there. So I found some more coal. I hear critters fighting. So we'll just go back here. This is where I was earlier. So I'll come down here. It does not, but there's a big beastie. Thankfully, the beasties ignore you when you're in a vehicle, even if you were to say, boop, and uh, roll on. You can see, I've got, it shows, me, it shows my speed and it also shows the amount of fuel I have remaining. I came all the way out here to build fuel generation. Yep, took some damage. Not much, but took some. <laughs> I think I've heard of that. And it is a, it is on Steam. Um, I don't have it on Steam. I bought it on the Epic Game Store because that's the only thing it was available on for a while. So, um, I've had it for a hot minute, but it is on Steam. This is a manufacturing plant that I have developed, along with another power generation area. Except instead of coal power, I now have gas power. <laughs> so over here I've got my oil extractors it pumps the oil out the uh, raw oil crude oil down these pipelines here and they all run down to these refineries the refineries 
See, I've got, that's right, I hooked that one up to the network, but I haven't started pumping any oil out of it yet. I think that one's hooked up. If not, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm planning to build more onto it. So essentially what happens here is the refinery takes crude oil and uh, converts it into fuel. Each time it does that, um, it produces polymer resin, which you can use to craft a couple of different things. Uh, the polymer resin is a byproduct. You have to do something with it, um, or it'll back up production and you'll stop making stuff. Uh, so the refineries all actually generate their own. It's called head lift. It basically just acts as a pump. So all of these are pumping the refined oil, the fuel, uh, down this line here while the polymer resin runs down here. Fuel moves on down here. And again, I've got this set up. All the excess gets ground up, but I still keep some for myself. So, all this fuel runs down into these uh, fuel generators. They burn that to make electricity. Uh, this polymer resin actually comes down to a separate uh, oil refinery which you take water and polymer resin and you combine them together and you get plastic. You use the plastic in a constructor to make empty canisters. The empty canisters uh, come to this packer which combines the empty canister and the fuel into a fuel canister or packaged fuel which comes to the truck station which means every time I pull up um, I refill my uh, fuel, and I've got some biofuel and an, ex an extra stack of uh, fuel in case I get stranded or I drive too far away. That way I'm just all set to go. I don't know what I was doing there. I was doing something. I don't remember what it was. But I've just gotten distracted. Uh, so this operation here, this is the whole thing. Uh, the train runs through here, it brings um, coal, quartz, and bauxite to this area. All of that runs to different things. All of the bauxite runs through to these refineries, so you can buy uh, bauxite and water to get a Lumina solution. You run that through here into a separate refinery. Hello, how are you? Mold, if I'm saying that right. Uh, then you run the alumina scrap and the coal together to get, or the solution together to get uh, scrap. And then run all that through. That goes, where do I send that? send it all up somewhere. It's been a hot minute since I've been... This factory is old. <laughs> I'm just sort of figuring out what I want to do from here. I think I was working on this right when they put out lighting and some of that stuff from update 5. come on at night. Ah, what's up? So, all of the, uh, let's see. There's my train station. Did I not build a way to get up top other than this? I think this ramp is the only way up. <laughs> Hold on. We'll go up there. So, all the quartz... I think some of the quartz gets converted into silica powder, and uh, along with the alumina scrap, all gets sent up here. What's going on is I'm building stuff, my dear. This is uh, my fat one of my factory games. Let's see. I think all that comes over here to make aluminum ingots. Let's see. What do I need to make that? What is this box here? Ah, yes. Okay, so I built this box to uh, send up the alumina scrap. Oops, sorry. The silica, the alumina scrap, and the quartz all up here to work. 
So all these go to different places to basically craft aluminum ingots. The aluminum ingots uh, get sent to these constructors, turn them into different things. I think right now all I'm making is aluminum casings. Right, I was in the middle of expanding this production line and trying to make something else. What was I trying to make? Bio coal, charcoal, color cartridge. I just don't remember. I was, I was talking to Tabitha. That's who I was talking to when I said deer. Because she said Tabitha jumped in and was like, what's going on? So I was talking, I was responding to her. <laughs> yes. That's why I was very confused. I was like, huh? <laughs> Where is... Okay, it's stopping at... It's satisfactory. Uh, there's another building game that I've been playing, Dyson Sphere Program. Uh, that one, I'm trying to build a uh, Dyson Sphere to um, uh, harness the power of the sun. Oh, that's right. I made this so I could jump off and uh, land safely. Gloop. Do none of these ladders work? Oh, that one does. Good. Yes, indeed. Satisfactory. We're going to take a ride on my train. I'll show you um, where it stops. How the... And just sort of go over collection. And there's a whole area I have not uh, discussed yet, and that's over here pretty big area. Um, it's a huge coal power generation. Uh, I've gotten to the point here where I can make uh, I can do nuclear power but I haven't actually built it. here. They're unloading what they can and they're going back. Gonna hop in. So all, all this is automated. I'm not doing, I'm not touching anything. This is just set up. It runs to the next station. Stops long enough to collect what it needs to and moves on so from that location we're going to come over here to my quartz I think this is the quartz station I had to run through and tear out a path here for the train to, to get through <laughs> wasn't the easiest thing to do oh there's a blue power slug there how did I miss that? Hmm. So it's automatically applying the brake because we're coming in on the station. And so what I had to do is you, because the train's four cars long, you build your, um, you build your locomotive, a station for your locomotive to stop at, empties for stuff that's not getting loaded. And then, so I've got coal and quartz being loaded in those back two containers. I think the I think the caboose is 
coal and the middle car is quartz. And I think that the two cars near the front are uh, bauxite, I think. Off we go. So some of the lights engaged. I don't know how long it'll be night for. So we we're at the Quartz Creek Mine. Boxy Brown Town's our next stop. Come to this cave. I don't want to touch anything because I don't want to uh, throw off its timetable. Is it another blue power slug? Must be green. I bet they changed the color or something. They were green, yellow, and purple. Yeah, so I got the two blanks at the end there. Train stops at the station. load up and return to our starting point, Ila Nublar, because, I mean, why not? <laughs> so, it used to be trains could just kind of do whatever they want, but now they have collision. I had to snake this thing down the... <laughs> All the way down here because it was it was rough getting it down. <laughs> so it's starting to break way back here because it has to. I was experimenting with lights here. So I, right now I just have these lights. Uh, I was in the process of running a bunch of lights through here, seeing what I needed to build to do that. Because lighting wasn't a thing, it was just at night, that was it. Off we go. See you later. So I'll head back to my explorer. Drive back towards our where we were earlier, uh, my primary building area. That's the space elevator, which you can see from just about anywhere on the map, I believe. a lot of focus into exploration and a few things for the next update. Um, I do want to play this game, but I think I want to wait till they get more out for it. They're getting close to wrapping up main development, so I'd like to really wrap my head around a few things here.
헤비 이거 Watch this Bloop Doesn't hurt him <laughs> Bloop There he is He's back up <laughs> Like nothing happened like that. Update 5, they did a bunch of new stuff. I think they added the particle accelerator. Was that update 4? But they've added a particle accelerator. Added a bunch of stuff. And I was like, ooh, I'm excited about that. And I got on and started messing around. And then I just ended up doing other stuff. It's going to be a little wonky. Apologize. Oh, there's a lizard doggo. What's up, dude? It is the creature's actual name is lizard doggo. Drive down here, as you can see, I've got. Oop, oop, oop. I've got power towers out here. There's a big boulder blocking the way. I think about right there. Blow it up with some. Explosives, so you can get through easier. Oh, come on. Chill out. Oh, hey, Beagle. Dog walked under me. <laughs> See, I don't remember what's out here. Why I've got these power poles leading way out here. Oh, there's one. There's one of the stingers. Little death spider monsters. But because I turned on arachnophobia mode, it doesn't show up as a spider. It's a weird cat sprite. It makes that cat noise instead of the horrible, awful sound that those things made. And now it's dead. Spread chaos and mayhem. World president urges all citizens to do their part and harvest alien artifacts. Oh. There's a thing over here in the water. Mercer Sphere. Mercer Sphere, Summer Sloop. There's some, some stuff like that. Comply. You get close enough to it, and it starts basically telling you to pick it up. It doesn't. It doesn't even do anything. Literally nothing. It does nothing right now. <laughs> Did I? Don't tell me I strung all of this. I must have been preparing for something, because it looks like I strung all of this out here. Oh, 
Right. Gas. Nitrogen gas. They added gas, too. I completely forgot about that. Uh, I was... There's materials out here. Um, like that nitrogen gas. I think nitrogen is the only gas in the game right now. I think there's another one. I'm not sure. Okay. Thank you, dear. Appreciate it. Quartz. That's right. I ran. Okay, so I ran the power poles out here to get quartz. Um, but I never made it that far. <laughs> I was gonna run the quartz somewhere. I must have changed them from green to blue. I don't know. They definitely did something. I think it's water. You can get water sources like this and nitrogen gas. Nitrogen's the only gas at the moment. I don't know if they're planning on adding more. Okay. Appreciate it. Discovering everything about this, about this game right now. <laughs> Let's see. And I ran a power pole. I ran power out here. Is that the water? Oh yeah. It is a water source, so I can't extract water that way. If I need to. These trees are different. I don't remember them being there. I ran power here so I could unlock that and get a hard drive. I remember that. And I sent power poles in this direction because there were geysers out here? I think? I stopped there. I stopped there. I was running power out here. <laughs> oh, I'd have a heart attack if that happened to me. <laughs> Especially since this is kind of just a I mean, I'm going, I'm going through and looking at the stuff I've done in the past, but I'm not really doing much more. I'm just sort of checking out something while well, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do uh, next. So. But. You seem to be pretty interested in ARC, so um, I'll bring a minimal amount of stuff with me. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to bring a, a minimal amount of stuff with me uh, over into the stream game and uh, start fairly fresh. 
have to adjust a bunch of settings though. Not a bunch, but some, because I've, I've been meaning to, to tweak some stuff. I just don't want to tweak it too much. Ha! Give me that. Oh, there's the bacon mushroom. Apparently it's a mushroom that actually tastes like bacon. So up here, I know why I ran power poles up here. And because this is a geyser. I didn't realize they had ratings now. I'm not sure how you get a pure and an impure geyser. There's another geyser node right here, but it would, wouldn't let you build on it. Did they fix that? So as pressure builds, your geothermal generator makes more and more power until it gets to 600. Then pressure decreases and it flops. So as you can see, my pressure's up a bit. So my power generation is up. It's cresting. It's 600. It starts to fall back to 200. So it flips between them. Uh, there's several of these geysers around. There's not a ton of them. There's a few of them around, and they're definitely worth uh, grabbing for power generation. probably one of my more complex factories. You can see it there in the distance. I spent a lot of time and effort getting this one lined up. Come down here. Like that. It's got 46 fuel. the bridge. This is the packager at work. It's just refilling the fuel. I'm just going to the truck station. Okay, so let's start at the top. So down there is my water extractors that I need for water for the whatever they're called, coal generators. So the water gets pumped up until it gets to its maximum point, which I believe is about roughly in the middle of that there. I had to build these so that way I had something to attach them to. That way I could build the pumps. I could I could build it the way I needed it to. I Actually, the whole reason those are there, I didn't even need to build the pumps there. 
I had to run the electrical wire, and I think I found out later that I could run it from each individual pump. I was like, well, it would have been nice to know before I built and spent all this time doing this, but it helped me line it all up and get it nice and neat. So, not that big of a deal. As so the water gets pumped up here, comes up here into, into these lines, and it all gets pumped down here. I figured I needed to pump the water to just up to somewhere above the coal generators. Uh, because then, I don't have to worry about using pumps to get the water okay. where it needs to go. So as long as the top up here is higher, the water will flow where it needs to. So this is just, it's a mess. This is spaghetti. Pretty, pretty through and through. But all the pipes run down here. And they split up and go to different coal generators. All this is coal. Just, uh, this is all here just to burn coal. That's all that's here for. This is copper. Yeah, this is copper coming from the miner up there. That runs all the way down here. Well, I kind of do. Um, the only thing is it only goes a cer certain distance, so I have to jump and grab the next one and keep going. This is the factory floor. No, it's at the top. I didn't even see that up there. I need to go get that hard drive. I'll do this. Doop. 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 Uh, doop. Uh, doop. Okay, so over here on this side, I'm just gonna have to go. Go over there. But the hyper tubes are more fun, uh, and you can get you can get moving a whole hell of a lot faster. Because uh, at the at the time I built this, I didn't even know Let's Game It Out existed, and I subscribed to him a while ago on YouTube. Um, this my lizard doggo. Do I have any? No. I don't have any barrel nuts or anything. No food I can give him. So my oil extractors, uh, once again, uh, surprisingly enough, extract oil. And they send it all through. Uh, this one over here, did I put a splitter on it? I did. So this one is dedicated to sending oil here to this refinery, which makes fuel. Uh, and needed to use the fuel, which gets flung down here. That gets run all the way down, uh, and I left this open because there's another crude oil spot. So all the crude oil goes through there, it gets pumped by through all of these. Out to refineries of different kinds. And also to a buffer. Buffer down here is its just a huge buffer to hold excess oil. Uh, there's not much. I'm using pretty much all of it, but any excess gets sent to this. Some of it gets pumped up and out. Actually, that's... So, sorry, the whole reason the buffer is here, I'll get into that in a minute. I forgot about this whole operation up here and how this all works. Let me turn my heat pad back on. Let me drink something, because I'm doing a lot of talking and not a lot of drinking. Okay, so, here's the earth, sorry, old habits, <laughs> so all that oil gets pumped into these refineries, which, you know, generate fuel, uh, this one actually, that's a different spot, so these, this all started around these refineries, making fuel, 
this group here, one makes fuel, this one makes fuel. This one makes rubber, but it also generates heavy oil residue. So, heavy oil residue, let's see, is this fuel? Yeah, this is a fuel buffer. Heavy oil residue, um, you can use that to make uh, more fuel, or use it to make uh, a couple of other things. So it's just all excess that gets dumped out, piped around. Uh, this down here is heavy oil residue, actually, because uh, I'm generating more stuff up here, and the heavy oil residue comes down here. And uh, goes to this buffer just to hold it. And it gets pumped around. I think I used some of it here to make plastic. No, plastic makes heavy oil residue. I'm making more plastic in some other spots too. It's a whole thing. Monstrous. This will make. There's rubber. I had plastic down here, but I think I moved it up. So I've got. Power generation, um, grinding up stuff over here too. So over here, all right, this is all my plastic generation. So I've got plastic coming in here. I've got um, iron ore. Or I've got screws. Sorry, screws, iron ore, making uh, iron plating. Probably rods. Yep. All coming over here to make modular frames. Yeah, all the stuff. So, well, the constructors uh, send stuff to these assemblers, which then send stuff to these assemblers. And then some of these constructors send stuff over to this thing. Uh, all this right here is just storage for it's a storage buffer. I mean, I've got steel pipe coming in here. I've got all kinds of stuff. So this all comes over here to a manufacturer. This manufacturer makes heavy modular frames that you're needed for certain recipes. Again, heavy modular frames come in. It takes a while. A while, uh, and excess gets dumped into this uh, this device here, the sink. That's all of this. Let me see. I think, is this whole floor? Yeah, because this is all to make encased beams, encased industrial beams. Yeah, so let me see. Let me get over here. That's where there's less smoke. Literally, this whole layer, all of this is just to make those heavy modular frames over there. That's what all of this is for. This whole area. Excess gets sent over here. Or this gets like split up and sent around. Uh, that would be cool. It's on Game Pass so we could both play it day one. And I think this whole area is just to make computers. Okay, this is just plastic. So this, this here, this lets me shut off my plastic production. I had to build separate plastic production uh, for this because I needed plastic for the whole thing. And I moved all my plastic around, got it up top, up here. Uh, so this whole area here, quarters, come on. Here you go, buddy. I think that would go really well. Tabitha, us doing uh, Sniper Elite. Again, all of this is just to manufacture computers. How many computers are sitting in here? Not enough. Plastic production. Or, it's not plastic. It's the, uh, Circuit boards. Yeah, I'm not getting enough plastic running through.
come over here and make the circuit boards. Uh, every now and then, I would... Everything was going real well. Okay, come down here. Where is my shut-off? Here it is. Heavy modular frames and computers. So I'll just do this. Computer production is turned off. So now it's stop making computers. Oh. Does it come out next Thursday? That sounds right. I'd have to discuss that. I'd have to I'd have to see if anybody was uh, gonna be joining the well, I think Nathan has Game Pass. We might can get him to do to join us too. So I don't know how many people you can play it, but if it's more than two, we could we could have a whole bonanza if we wanted. Uh, or if it's, you just want it to be me and you, as long as that's fine, we can do that. Um, but I had that set up there so I could leave all the plastic running, let it fill the storage container with plastic. And then later I'd go back and turn all of that back on. And this whole thing over here. Drop down here. Yeah, all of this right here, this whole little area, this is just for concrete. So I just, <laughs> I need that for the encased industrial beams. I forgot I built this tower. To look out over my empire and be like, yes, this is glorious. It is quite great. So that, in a nutshell, is uh, satisfactory. Oop. That was going to take damage there. My turn. Uh, the rest of the production on, so don't forget it. But there's a bunch of... There's some sulfur veins. Um, I, I didn't really start exploiting sulfur the way I needed to. Just enough to get some stuff set up and running. Uh, and the next thing I need to make is, let's throw the switch, back online. So, uh, it's a neat game. There's a lot to do in it. It's real grindy. Um, it is just a factory builder. I like it a lot. Um, the humor in the game is pretty good. <laughs> that's got that's a must. If you're gonna have humor, it's got to be good. Um, there's several materials we haven't they haven't started utilizing it there's uh, Sam strange alien metal um, they haven't utilized that at all um, and I haven't started taking advantage of nuclear power yet uh, that's a whole thing to do because you've got to extract the uranium ore um, you've got to refine it or you got to run it through constructors to make uh, basically reactor rods rods, all, ki all kinds of stuff. Uh, and then, the area in which you're running it becomes radioactive. Uh, so you have to start dealing with radiation. Uh oh, here we go. Right at myself. 
by quarters. He's building motors. Some, you know what? I think I was building motors. Or that was a different game. Take the hyper tube back over there. that have a sword button. It's so good. <laughs> Crystal oscillator. They changed it from green to blue. Oops. Oh, I've got this guy. Here we go. Let's do this. No, let's not do that. people big fans of the coffee cup just hanging out <laughs> drinking coffee checking out their factory pointed out there's uh, no paper in the bathroom. What? What is this? This is new. like Tetris, but it, again, it's not like Tetris. <laughs> also, don't really know what I'm doing here. Send it. 
That's new. Was not prepared for that. I don't remember seeing any mention of that anywhere. Equipment workshop. Rebar gun. You can make a jet pack, but it uses fuel. Um, I was trying to get the hover pack. Um, you consume power, um, but you can, like, hover around your factory and it lets you sort of, as long as you're around power, you can fly it forever. And there's, I wanted to get to this, aeronautical engineering, um, so I can build drones, drone ports, all sorts of stuff. Logistics Mark V, hazmat suit, which you have to have. I just need gas mask filter or gas filters. I can make a hazmat suit. Nuclear power. So this, the power plant, uranium fuel rod, electromagnetic control rods, encased uranium cells, and uranium, and you need all of that to make to run a nuclear power plant. Okay, so the resource well pressurizer and extractor, that's all the stuff. Okay, so I guess there's water, crude oil, and nitrogen gas. Fused modular frame. Turbo motor, minor mark three, thermal propulsion rocket, particle enrichment. So then there they add nitric acid, copper powder, plutonium uh, fuel rod, which I think you can you get that by um, I think you convert uh, like nuclear waste into plutonium pellets and plutonium cells to make fuel rods so you can uh, continue you can reuse it There's the particle accelerator. Lets you make a bunch of different things, including uh, nuclear pasta. <laughs> so it starts getting crazy, the stuff that you can do. It's a little more simple. It's also a little more complicated in ways than, like, it's sim it's more simple in some ways, and it's more complicated in others than, like, Dyson Sphere Program. And I like Dyson Sphere Program, and it's far more complex in other ways, and it's a little more simple. Because part of it is, I mean, you that one you control a big, like, robot suit, but you can see a lot more area, so it allows you to kind of visualize things a little better. Here, it's tough to do that. even have a color gun? I don't know that I have one. I don't think I built one. I have a bunch of color cartridges. I've got a supercomputer. Okay. Built a bunch of color cartridges, but I don't see a color gun anywhere. No worries.
Yeah, I want to get to the point where I'm going to build uh, nuclear plants, uh, drone transportation, stuff like that. Okay, at one point, this was my primary factory. Did I put motors? Aha! I did start building motors here. Heavy modular frames on the other side, computers. Okay, so I, could, I should be able to get everything I need to make the hover pack right now. I'm just going to have to go dump my inventory off somewhere. I'll do this. I should be able to build a... Organization. Industrial storage container. Bloop. Really? Fine. It can be complex. It can be annoying about it. Is that all? Copper ingot and aluminum ingot. Three aluminum ingots. Okay, so I need 600 aluminum ingots to make 200 aluminum sheeting. So I'm going to go I'm going to drive the Explorer back over there. I'm going to get uh, modular, heavy modular frames. Let's see. What do I need? Grab some more stuff while I'm at it. because I was building all that so I could get the aluminum casings. Okay. So I need 200 motors. Okay, so that's the only thing I'm going to be able to make right now is hover pack. <laughs> 200, 100, 100, and I've got all that stored up, so... Try to be quick. It's so basically the only thing I like to use is the, the Blade Runners because it makes you run like twice as fast. But I keep the Blade Runners in my inventory and jump out of them <laughs> in the hover pack when I'm working on uh, building the factory. The jetpack is nice, but you can only hover, you can only fly up so far and hover for a little bit. You consume fuel constantly. You can't use it like the hover pack. motors. Check. See there, tall guy.
hundred computers. Ooh, careful, careful, careful. Beep, beep. Let's go. I used to utilize... I utilized truck stations a lot more in my last playthroughs. This time I wanted to get you know, a good train system up and running. Because you don't have to worry about... So the problem with using trucks now, um, the way it used to work before fluid was added to the game, so before you could transport fuel and pipes and stuff like that, you the only way to do it was as soon as you manufactured fuel, it dumped out a canister. So you could just load it up on conveyor belts and send it all over the place when you uh, put an oil extractor down. It dumped out barrels of crude oil. You sent the barrels off to the... Uh, You to harvest this specimen. I'm not going to. Stop it. Harvest. Stop it. No. I don't want to. You can't control me. Head back down to the car. Stop it. Stop getting stuck. There we go. Yeah, so what I was saying, my thought, I was saying, um, because everything was just automatically in containers, and you didn't have to worry about anything. So you just... Hello, bug. What you doing on my laptop? Let's see if I can see that happen. I don't know if I saw it happen. I definitely saw it fly in front of my face in real life. It was easier to utilize truck stations and such. Um, now, I think in order to use a truck, like in order to use a truck station, you have to uh, you have to get plastic, make empty canisters, and you've got to um, run them through a packer, and it will fill the canisters with the fluid and then you can haul the fluid by truck um, and then what you can do is you can uh, send it out that way but if you want to utilize it as a like use it in a factory uh, and that has a liquid input you have to send it through a packer I think and like, it unpackages it and outputs uh, empty plastic containers <laughs> oh my god the whole thing
since I was discussing it. Um, and it seems as though my next, the next title, uh, the next game I'm going to play on the stream is going to be Ark. I'd like to do Satisfactory, but I want them. I don't want to really put a bunch of time and effort into it and have them change a bunch of stuff and then have to go back and redo it all. You know, I'm kind of just hanging out with the save file for a while. Pulsar Lost Colony, and I don't know much about that. What little, what little I've played has been fun. It's definitely a uh, co-op game, though. I'm gonna go get, go get all my stuff. I'll go back, we'll drive over, grab some Aluminum ingots. Go get some copper. So I think I've got like 200. Because I need to make 200 of them. I need three and one. I need three aluminum ingots and one copper ingot. So I just need to grab some copper ink. 200 copper ingots. So to have room, I have to have eight inventory slots when this is all said and done. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. You can hand make some. <laughs> Try to get that hover pack in. Well, I won't get it, but I'll unlock the ability to craft it. I'll probably need aluminum and some casings, but, you know. This way I will have done something productive for the stream. Uh, how did it end up? You know, I didn't stop. I didn't dead stop, so it just rolled. That's a thing. I also forgot to grab the copper. Okay, sweet, I can build a craft bench. I don't know that I'll be able to grab real quick. I was wondering if I put lights anywhere over here. And I didn't. That was going to be one of my next projects. Let's get stuff just crafting and working and then... Uh, from there, start putting it, putting in lights and working on a bunch of other stuff. I was planning on getting, that's what it was, I was going to transport stuff over here and try to make supercomputers. I built out a spot so I could build a drone platform, but that way I could use the drone to move computers over here so I don't have to worry about crafting computers in this area. Oh, chill out. Oh my god, damage detected. You hurt yourself. It's okay. Don't worry. Oh, they respawned. And 
I'll do that sometimes and I have to go purge. Light is bright from over here. <laughs> Good gracious. Sorry, guys, got in my way. Something has happened to my production. Disregard. Okay, won't be able to do that today. I have to head back down here and see what happened to all of my production. Something has happened. everything at standby. Things operational. Why? Something happened here with my setup. I put everything on standby for a reason. Put something on standby. Apparently. Why were these... Why were these on standby? One of them was set to standby and the whole... This whole side of the factory came to a screaming halt. Okay, where's the power pole? I gotta check my power. Consumption. We're all good. I'll have to let him know he somehow broke my factory. <laughs>
I must have touched something. I don't know what I did. I had to have done something, though, because... For some reason... It was not running. And it was just that last one. So, okay, now look. All of the aluminum scrap... All this quartz, or all the silica, is coming through here. This one on standby too? No, it's just not getting. Why aren't you getting? because it was on standby for some reason. Let's see, because this is using 90 a minute. I'm generating 60 per minute. It's going to be 60, 120, 180. So that should be 90 and 90. But why was, it, why was this on standby? Unfortunately, it's going to end the stream for the evening. Uh, I want to thank all y'all for dropping by and checking it out. Um, I'll be live again on Friday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, probably doing uh, Sea of Thieves. Well, I'll have to actually, I'll have to look and see when the new mystery comes out because that may be something that may be, Sniper Elite may be something that I do with Tab a different day. I don't know. Um, I've got to look into a few things and see when uh, dates of stuff releasing. I don't think that's when the mystery comes out. I think a new adventure comes out next week. I appreciate it. Thank y'all so much for checking it out. Um, that's all I have for the evening. Um, I hope y'all have a great rest of your... Uh, well, let's see. I've forgotten my outro. Bye, everyone. Have a great rest of your night. There we go. That's it. <laughs>